All right, what's going on, trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and you're going to be watching another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon Showdown Battle video today. Thank you for coming. Definitely hit the like button if you end up enjoying this entire video. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today. It's a different tier. You, you are underused. And this team is fire, so I hope you guys enjoy the lineup that I have for you today. Let's go over the Pokemon, or I should say the team preview. Alright, let's go to it. So the first Pokemon in the squad is Aggron, or I should say Mega Aggron. And this particular set is a Rock Polish. When you set up a Rock Polish with Aggron, you're hitting 430 speed. I think I saw that in a video where someone used a Mega Aggron. It hit 430 speed, assuming he's jolly. And that is just amazing. You can outspeed a lot of Pokemon this way. And you have your base 140 attack with Mega Aggron. That is something. The next Pokemon I have here is a Azelf, one of the legendaries from the Sinnoh region. And Azelf is apparently there to set up Stealth Rocks and use Dazzling Gleam to catch High Dragons and some other fighting types that are weak to it. But why would you do that when you have Psychic? It also has Psychic and then U-Turn to get out of there for momentum. Very good Pokemon, it's pretty fast. Has good special attack as well. The third Pokemon I have is Hydreigon. Hydreigon is pretty popular in the UU tier, and I'm really excited to use him. Has Dragonium Z, so you're able to use Devastating Drake, which is incredibly hard, but you're able to land it. Has Draco Meteor, Flamethrower, Dark Pulse, and U Turn again. A lot of U-Turners on this team, I should say. And it's really good because you can get out of there safely, assuming you're faster, and then you can play into something different in the lineup for the right scenario. You just have to be careful with it. That's the idea. The fourth Pokemon I have is Crobat. You're seeing a lot of, um, I guess you could say a lot of flying types. No, a lot of Pokemon that are weak to ice. I do have answers like a Raccoonid that you saw there in Porygon 2, so I'm not too worried about that, but Crobat is there to get rid of entry hazards. I don't think I have Defog, but I want to at least make sure my opponent thinks that I have that, but this one has Cross Poison instead of the usual Poison type move that we normally have. I don't recall right now, but it has Cross Poison, has a higher chance of a critical hit, has Haze, and then has Brave Bird and, you guessed it, another U-Turner. Uh, we have Arachnid, and Arachnid is choice banned. Liquidation, Leech Life, just hits so hard in the tier. A lot of people use Arachnid, and choice banned Arachnid hits incredibly hard. I'm really excited to use him. And then finally, we have Porygon 2 being our defensive wall for the team. Very bulky, it has Ice Beam, and some other coverage options like signal beam but it also has recover and a I don't remember the last move but we'll find out in the match itself the match itself though is amazing you'll like it so I hope you guys enjoy it let's get right into the battle I'll see you there all right I'll be real I hate this scene that I'm looking at right now because of Blissey and Gligar my goodness, I hate that team so much already. Anyway, so you see my team right there, and my opponent has a lot of high dragons and B drills, and I get destroyed by a Draco Meteor. Why? I think he's Choice Scarf because I live out by him. A lot of high dragons are Choice Scarf, so I have to be wary of that. I go into Mega Agron right away, and I know he's going to switch out. So I go for the Rock Polish. This is where. We have Mega Agron be very quick. I'm very disappointed by the damage output though, because I go for Ice Punch, barely does anything to Chestnut, and that is very disappointing. I go for Heavy Slam next, I get hit by the Spiky Shield, 
Not very good. So go for another heavy slam. At some point, I'm going to switch out going to Crobat so I can use Brave Bird. I believe I have Brave Bird on this Pokemon too, so... It's okay to use Brave Bird sometimes, but you want to be careful because you lose HP every turn. Forgot to mention that in the team analysis, but that's okay. He switches out and goes into Gligar to resist the Cross Poison. I wanted to use Brave Bird, but the fact that he has Gligar in the back, I thought that would be dumb for me to use it right now. Another dumb mistake that I have right now is Porygon 2 getting its leftovers taken away from the knockoff. I go for Ice Beam, trying to scare away the Gligar. Now that he knows I have it, it's kind of annoying. I go into a rack with it because I know Blissey, who is definitely a monster that I just hate facing in Pokemon battles in general. I want to get rid of it quickly, so I go for a choice ban leech life. That does over half to Feraligator. I managed to survive a rock slide. Man, that is something. I really like it that I survived. However, he goes into B-Girl. I thought he was going to KO me with a poison jab, but my opponent predicted me to switch out, so that was... I mean, I know he was trying to predict me to switch, but I didn't really want to switch out because I have Stealth Loss on my side of the field. There was really no point in me switching, so... He does KO me. Now I go into Crobat. He goes into U-Turning and Gligar next. Gligar is pretty bulky, especially when it has the Evil item. So I know that's a fact. I want to go for U-Turn. I don't have Defog on this Crobat, otherwise I would have used it. I thought I did have it, but I guess I didn't have it, which is kind of uh, stupid. But what can you get about that? Here, my opponent goes for Taunt, and I predicted him to do that, so I just go for the Ice Punch directly. I need to keep Agron alive so that I can handle the Blissey and the High Dragon, the Mega B Grill, you name it. Here's High Dragon. I know this is Choice Scarf, so I have to switch out and sacrifice somebody. In this case, it's going to be Crobat, so I need to sacrifice Crobat. That way, I can bring in Azelf, who's taking in the battlefield for the first time in this video. I'm going to go for the Dazzling Gleam. It's not going to do anything to the Blissey, unfortunately. We all know how bulky Blissey is. I just hate it. Since I'm in here though, I'm going to limit my opponent from switching a lot by going for Stealth Rocks. It's going to hamper the Beedrill and the Chestnut and the High Dragon a little bit there. That would be great to have those entry hazards up a little bit. No harm in doing that. I go for Psychic. I'm just trying to put some chip damage on this thing. It's pretty annoying. I go into Porygon 2 after the fact. Go for another Seismic Toss. I'm not worried about that because I have Recover. I go for Ice Beam. I'm trying to catch something. I thought he was going to switch out into High Dragon or something. We freeze it and then he unfreezes automatically. Now here, my opponent switches out. Goes into B-Girl as a sacrifice. And that way, or I mean this way, he goes into High Dragon. There we go. He goes into High Dragon and goes for Draco being a year. I thought this would KO. However, I managed to survive. Wow. Porygon 2, you're doing your job just as well. He goes into Chestnut here. I predicted that. So I go for an Ice Beam. It does a lot of damage. I know another one will KO it. Not really sure why he's going for the Spiky Shield. I'm not going to do anything. He's trying to get some HP, but I mean... That's not going to be enough, unfortunately. I go for Signal Beam. At this point, I really need to speed this part up because there's going to be moments where we just stay in, recover up, going for Seismic Toss. You don't really want to see that, so spread that part a little up for you. Spread that part up a little bit there. And I go into Agron, I knew it was going to probably soft boil or aromatherapy there, so I just go directly into Agron. I need to use Heavy Slam because I know it's going to easily wipe out Blissey. I think I should have done this earlier, but 
this was when I realized I should have done it. So, I know this eye drive on is still here. Choice scarf or choice specs. I feel like it's a choice scarf. Yeah. We're going to sacrifice Azel, bring back in Porygon 2, and use this opportunity to not get flinched by the Dark Pulse. There was a chance, but we thankfully dodged it. I'm going to use Ice Beam again. And I'm like, alright, well, Blissey's going to come in, and we freeze it! There you go! That is what you get when you keep using Ice Beam over and over. And I'm like, okay, this is great. This will give me an opportunity to go back into Agron. This Blissey is still frozen. What is he going to do? Well, he's going to stay in and get KO'd by a Heavy Slam. There you go. But then we have Hydreigon to deal with. That's his last Pokemon. I'm going to sacrifice Agron. He did a lot in this match already. Now I just have to nail an Ice Beam and hopefully KO this Hydreigon. Or I'm... And also survive a fire blast, which we do, and we get burned a little bit there, but that's fine. I would prefer that over poison or paralyzation. Here's where the match ends. He misses a fire blast that does not matter. I would have survived it anyway, and then we get a critical hit off the ice beam, and we win that match by 6 5 or 1 0 score, just like in the last video. So that was an epic battle. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Oh my goodness. That was crazy. So thank you guys for coming to this video. If you end up enjoying it, make sure you like and subscribe. I should have another battle here soon. I'm going to be working on some Pokemon stuff for a little bit and see what I can do with that. And if I have another battle that is just as entertaining, I will go ahead and post that. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Goodbye, trainers.